the fall. It is a quaint little parchment, written as if by someone just discovering the power of words and silence. The big round letters of an adolescent, shaped into a metaphor of hope, becoming the bloated lines of adulthood as I read them aloud. The last spoken words of Eden, if only we. This was once a place, one walked barefooted on soft, responsive ground, not having to watch or worry about direction and consequence. A place without death, until love surprised us all. Love the spontaneous creation, the catalyst ushering in an eve of womanhood and defining against all specifications mankind, love, uncontrolled by deity, anarchistic, without boundary, without license. But love was never meant to be between a snake and a virgin. The skins don't match up. Hers is perfect. And if there be any imperfections, they are perfect imperfections, like the shape of her hopeful script, a celebration of imperfection. So I slide along the empty gateway, trying not to think, knowing there is only one path, one direction, a way. And I can't help thinking. She imagined, perhaps wishing, I would remain. She imagined Eden would not be changed with her passing. Doesn't she know? I crawl along the sealed and painted pavement, unable to feel the earth beneath, unable to feel anything beneath. If I could only fall once more again, I might be the fool and be happy. Perhaps the price of love is imbalance, to dance the edge of the garden wall with all the foolhardy courage of children, believing the soft ground of Eden will catch us no matter which way we slide.